It is imperative to realize and understand the critical differences between the nature of God and the nature of Jesus Christ, who was but a human prophet. The Bible proves that Jesus Christ was not all-powerful and that he cannot be God. God is almighty, all-powerful, and all-knowing, and as Jesus Christ is human, he has limitations. Mark chapter 6 verse 5 states that Jesus Christ could not perform any miracles except for a few. He could not do any miracles there except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. Mark chapter 6 verse 5. Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 26 states that when Jesus tried to heal a blind person, he was unsuccessful on the first attempt and had to try again. Would God fail to do anything on his first try? The Bible demonstrates that God in the heavens is all-knowing, meaning his knowledge is infinite, which, of course, is true. Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. Psalm 147, verse 5. On the other hand, the Bible demonstrates that Jesus Christ was not all-knowing and had limited knowledge, as he did not know the date of Judgment Day. But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Matthew chapter 24, verse 36. Here is another similar verse. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Mark chapter 13, verse 32. How can Jesus Christ be divine and part of the Trinity if he does not even know the date of Judgment Day? The answer is simple. Jesus Christ is a human prophet and not God. Mark chapter 11 verses 12 and 13 shares a story that demonstrates Jesus Christ's limited knowledge. Jesus Christ approached a fig tree to eat some fruit but found none. This was because it was not fig season. If Jesus Christ were all-knowing, he would have known that the tree would not bear figs, as it was not fig season. The next day, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing a fig tree in leaf in the distance, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves, because it was not the season for figs. Mark chapter 11, verses 12 and 13. The Bible quotes, And Jesus grew in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and man. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. This implies that Jesus Christ could not have been all-knowing as his wisdom grew, meaning his wisdom was less at one point. God does not learn as he goes. He is always all-knowing. God is independent of everything and does not need to eat, drink, or sleep. God does not sleep nor slumber, nor does sleep overtake him. Jesus Christ, on the other hand, ate, drank, slept, and urinated because he was human. He suffered pain and felt emotions. This differentiates Christ from God the Almighty. If Jesus Christ were in fact divine, he would not have needed to perform human actions and functions. The Bible states that Jesus Christ died, but God cannot die. If a person dies, he cannot be God, by definition. God has always existed and will always exist. Jesus Christ, on the other hand, was born of a mother and came into existence at one point, so he had a beginning. However, God does not have a beginning nor an end. God does not need help or prayer, as he can do anything. He is the possessor of everything. 
Jesus Christ, on the other hand, needed assistance from God above, so he prayed to God. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Jesus Christ prayed in the same manner Muslims pray by prostrating themselves to the ground, since Jesus Christ was a Muslim. Remember that, by definition, a Muslim is someone who submits himself to God the Almighty above. If Jesus Christ was God, the Son of God, or divine in any way, why would he need to fall into humility and pray to God? Will you tell me that Jesus Christ was praying to himself or to a part of himself? Where is the logic in that? Jesus Christ was praying to the one true God in the heavens. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John chapter 17 verse 3. The Holy Quran confirms that Jesus Christ was praying to the one and only God in the heavens. And shall make him a messenger to the children of Israel, who will say to them, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. That is, I create for you from clay something in the shape of a bird. Then I blow in it, and it becomes a living bird by the will of Allah. And I cure the blind born and the leper and I cause the dead to become alive by the will of Allah. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your homes. In this there is surely a sign for you if you are truly believers. I have come to you confirming that book which is sent down prior to me, that is, the Torah, and to make permissible for you some of what was prohibited to you. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So, fear Allah and obey me. Allah is surely my Lord and your Lord. So, worship Him. This is the straight path. Quran, chapter 3, verses 49 to 51. Jesus Christ instructed His disciples to pray to God in the heavens and never told them to direct their worship to Him, nor did He ever tell them that He was divine God or Son of God. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Luke chapter 11 verse 2.